Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to quite an impromptu um, news edition. Um, basically, uh, I wanted to highlight one or two things or make a couple of announcements, um, give a bit of gratitude as well. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing that all off the top of my head. <gasps> Shock, horror. Hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody's had a nice week hitherto. Um, and I hope where you can, you've been enjoying the nice weather here in England specifically. You know, I've been talking to somebody in America uh, very regularly recently who um, is experiencing rather warm climates themselves. Um, it's been great here. And I hope the weather continues in this fashion. Um, because, and it leads me straight to point number one, uh, tomorrow there will be a vigil, vigil um, down at Bournemouth Gardens at 2 p.m. Um, to commemorate, remember, uh, make sense of um, and all that kind of stuff the past three years with the knowledge that we are all in this together no matter who you are um, no matter what your background no matter what your opinion your political ideology your religion your taste of food your favorite color um, matters not and the sooner that message gets out and of course, in as compassionate a way as possible, then the better, because um, we don't have much leeway in all of this. But, you know, there are things that can be done to make that all more bearable. Uh, and if it's not just to be able to talk to somebody who understands or empathizes or simply gets it. Um, and vice versa, by the way, for me, it's going to be a very... Um, beneficial day because it will allow me to a see some faces I haven't seen for a while um, and also be I'm going to go through the alphabet but you know be talk to people in the public who will be passing our um, our little spec where we're going to be tomorrow so you know it's going to be something that is going to be an enjoyable event and it's going to be a family event and I would encourage people who are coming to do bring your children if you have them just to pop by for 10 minutes, if not for anything else. Have a little chin wag. Um, and, you know, that's what we want to sort of achieve. It's not an us versus them or a them versus us or anything like that. Nobody's claiming the moral high ground in any of this. Um, and if anybody is going to be claiming the moral high ground on this and it's in earshot of me, then uh, I ain't going to be very happy about that. And I will then bring it up and call it out um, because that's not what this is about. And neither should it be from this moment on anyway. You know, not just on these event moments, but they should be a daily thing whereby we gain this understanding and sort of work through this together. And uh, the way that works best is knowledge, information, communication, which is the key word. Um, something I just talked about with a couple of friends as I walked up through Boscombe High Street home with um, a few bits and bobs that I just picked up from uh, Melania, who also has helped out with one or two bits in the background for tomorrow's event. And they were saying as well, they were having that very conversation about communication or lack of, how it's become a problem, how people are simply too lazy to either ask again if they didn't quite get it first time around. And so suddenly the first domino has fallen wrong, hasn't it? It's hard to then row back once you've furthered yourself so far down the line and it's all based on a misunderstanding right from the start. Why? Because we have that sitting in a classroom, not raising our hands mentality, which transfers into our adult life. People are very satisfied with um, bog standard communication, which um um you know by default is uh not accurate then you know what i mean so it all ties in with that so yeah so bit of a tangent but anyway that's tomorrow two o'clock 2 p.m bournemouth gardens 
some of it will already be there an hour or so beforehand anyway so if anybody's around beforehand please come along you know we're going to be there nobody's going to be cutting a ribbon at two o'clock or anything like that uh it will just take care of itself and um i shall be live streaming it on facebook uh, i'll be starting to live stream it just after two uh i will be <clears throat> making one or two comments over the uh, pictures i'll be streaming but I will attempt to endeavour to um, allow the pictures and reactions um, speak for themselves. It's often the best way, isn't it? OK, second thing I wanted to announce was, of course, a reminder that there is going to be a Flat Earth social next Tuesday at the Pavilion Arms. Just checking the clock, as always, at 1900 hours, 7 p.m., uh, be there or be exceptionally oblong, spherical and goodness knows what else. Um, I'll be there. And so will Dave Weiss via technology because he will be beamed in from yonder to discuss some things. So I'll be looking forward to that. So that'll be Tuesday, 30th of May, Pavilion Arms, 1900 hours. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah. Um, and finally, I wanted to end this little segment by, um, well, for a change, not moaning and whinging, but actually giving thanks and showing a bit of gratitude uh, to, well, whatever we want to call it, life itself, I guess, because I've today just picked up my keys for my new flat, which uh, six weeks ago... I didn't even know that place existed. <laughs> so it's quite remarkable how in a space of time, um, well, what, A, your own personal capabilities, what you realise, you know, what you're capable of in terms of having to uh, get on with things, park certain thoughts, try not to let things distract you. You know, I mean, for me, what I'm really trying to say is, there was a period in all of this where I knew nothing. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know anything about whether when I was going to get evicted, this, that, and the other. There were lots of crossover things going on. And it took for me to be chasing, chasing, chasing all the time just to keep my mind at ease with a little bit of information that I, I needed. Um, that, for me, was much worse almost. Well, no, it wasn't almost. It was much worse than just getting some bad news and dealing with it. Again, the communication bit was the bit that was driving me absolutely bonkers um, because it just freezes you. It stops you, it prohibits you from cracking on with life. It, your mind is then clogged up with stuff that pre prevents you from then living, basically. And if you can get as many people in that mindset as possible with similar kind of uh, stresses and and things, um, then you've got a very malleable uh, population to do with what uh, you want basically and that's what we're seeing so actually me receiving the flat and stuff like that thanks to somebody in the council who understood my predicament and luckily knew a bit of background as to the what, what had gone on in the house that I'm still living in that I'm about to move from and and she reached out and helped me out otherwise it would never have happened and goodness knows where I'd end up and it can happen to anybody of course but it does tie in very well with the vigil and the whole communication thing and the whole, you know, at least under try and make more efforts. This isn't a demand, by the way. This is just a thought process that I'm verbalizing, you know, to make what one says a bit clearer or to understand what someone else says more, thus uh, eradicating misunderstandings that will be proven then to become problematic further down the line. Anyway. There you go. I thought I'd end that on a personally very positive note, of course. Um, and uh, I will, of course, now be making the various contacts with uh, my family and things like that to let them all know and start sort of slowly over the next few days, make a few plans. But first of all, I'll be getting this weekend out of the way because the most important stuff has been dealt with now. And that's it. So I can relax a little bit and next week is when i'll be cracking on with it anywho 
that will be that for the moment. Thank you very much for looking in. It is an absolutely glorious day today. It really is. Um, so I ain't complaining about that. Neither is Larry, who is looking forward to the move tremendously. Uh, he has let me know in his own very unique way. Um, so, yes, that will be a journey we'll be undertaking together. So on that note, speaking of together, because we are in this together, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening. We both do. And um, for those who are going to be attending tomorrow, I look forward immensely to seeing you all. If you can bring a jar, uh, then please do. And if you can bring some floral decoration, please do. Don't have to, but if you have some bakshi, then please do. And um, yeah. And so on that note, I can actually truthfully say, see you all soon and some of you sooner. On that note, thanks very much. And uh, ta-ta for now. Take it easy. Bye-bye.